Ira Kowale, Fairness 25, Oluwa Awade, Lati Iyo Logo, Fun Ayo Lata Iyo Loni, Lari Egbe Sera. <laughs>
also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in heaven in, in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father.
Jesus precious name we have prayed please with a number heart, recite this psalm after me glory be to the father to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and, and ever shall be world without end amen out of this church have we cried unto thee out of this church have we cried unto thee o lord o lord lord, lord. lord. hear our voice hear let their ears be attentive, Let our ears be attentive to, the to the voice of our supplications. If thou, Lord, if thou, Lord should mark iniquities, O Lord, o Lord who, shall stand? who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, but there is forgiveness with thee that, thou may be feared. that thou may be feared. We wait for the Lord. We wait for the Lord. O oh Lord, so who shall stand? Who shall stand? And but there is forgiveness with thee. But there is forgiveness with thee. That thou may be feared. That thou may be feared. We wait for the Lord. We wait for the Lord. O oh Lord, so we wait for the morning. We say, we say more than day. More than day. That watch for the morning. That watch for the morning. This church. Let this church. Hope in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. For with the Lord. For with the Lord. There is mercy. There is and with him, and with him is plentiful redemption. Is plentiful. And he shall redeem us, he shall redeem us from, all from all our iniquities. Glory be to the Father, Holy. to the Son, Holy. and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The heaven declare the glory of God, Amen. and the final man showeth his handiwork. Amen. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night show knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out throughout all the heart, and their words to the hand of God. Then he set the tabernacle for the sun, which is coming out of his chip, and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from one end of the heaven. And he circled unto the other end of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, comforting the soul. Amen. The testimony of the Lord is sure, Amen. making wise the simple. Amen. The statute of the law are right, Amen. rejoicing the heart. Amen. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and forever. The judgment of the law are true and righteous all together. Amen. More to be desired are they than good. Amen. Yea, they are much fine good. Amen. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is their children one. And in the keeping them, there is a great reward. Who can understand his errors? Clean that horse from secret thoughts. Keep back their children also from presumptuous sin. Amen. Let them not have dominion over us. Amen. Then shall we be upright, and shall we be innocent from great transgression. Amen. Let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in their sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Glory be to the Father, Holy. to the Son, Holy. and to the Holy Spirit. The heart is the Lord, Amen. and the fullness thereof, the word and they that dwell therein. For he have founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness of God of his salvation. This generation of them that are seeking, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Amen. And the King of glory shall descend to this service. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, 
if we lift them up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts is the king of glory Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Eternal Lord of ages, everlasting King of glory. And the end, the hope and the finisher of our faith. We worship you. We glory you for counting us with Sunday in the land of the living. Father, Lord, we appreciate you. We return all glory back to you for your undying love because you are a confident thing, God. We appreciate you upon our life of each this church and upon the entire church. But Lord, accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Almighty, we come with a reference to an humble heart. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins. Because your word says, for all our sins are first of, of, of fall short of your glory. Lord Almighty, we pray, we ask that whichever way, whichever way that we are fought off of, fall short of your glory. Father, Lord, forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Saying that we committed known and unknowingly, saying that we committed as an individual, saying that we committed as an household, saying that we committed as a church. Lord Almighty, saying that I want to serve as an entrance upon our service of today. Lord Almighty, forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' Amen. name. Lord Almighty, saying that I might not make your grace to abound in our life. Because you said that we can't continue in sin and, have, and expect your grace to abound. You say it's impossible. Lord Almighty, sins that might not make your grace to be abundant and sufficient in our life. Father, Lord, forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' Amen. name. Lord Almighty, we knock on the door of forgiveness this morning. Father, Lord, forgive us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty, we have for the sanctification and protection of this place. Lord, we commit the entire four corners of this sanctuary into your hands, Lord. Father, Lord, sanctify and provide it in Jesus' name. Amen. Any spirit that is unlike you, Father, Lord, chase them out in Jesus' Amen. name. Any familiar spirit, Father, Lord, chase them out in Jesus' Amen. name. We commit our heart, we commit all the soul that will be a particle of today's son and purify us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Almighty, we ask for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We want to see you at work in today's service, Lord. We want you to meet each and every one of us at the point of our name, Lord. Father, Lord, descend your spirit mightily in today's service in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Almighty, let us have a pastor encounter with you in today's service in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Almighty, take absolute preeminence in today's service, O Lord. Be the Alpha and Omega of today's service, O Lord. Continue with us in today's service, O Lord. Amen. At the end of today's service, O Lord, let us have full cause to glorify your holy name. Amen. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom thy power and the glory forever and ever amen amen come our prayer amen for in jesus mighty name we pray Hallelujah. Like a soul that is grateful to the Lord. That, like a soul that is appreciative before its maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he that has sustained us right from the beginning of our bed till today. And today he has granted us the opportunity and the privilege even to see another day. It is a year ago that we celebrated Father's Day last. 
but he has preserved you and I to witness another Father's Day today. Let us shout hallelujah. So I want us to prepare ourselves. Let us put our mind and soul together. Let us forget every other challenges that we might have. And we are in the presence of our maker, the only one that can do all things, the only one that every other thing is, I mean, is possible for, for him to do. He is the curator that no one curated. Hallelujah. So let us put our dancing shoes together as we go into Thanksgiving. Let us show our hearts of appreciation as the choir leaders praise the Lord.
somebody beside you. Look at somebody beside you. Look at somebody beside you. Tell that person, I will not lose you. Look at somebody beside you. Tell him, I will not lose you. Look at somebody beside you. Tell that person, I will not lose you. I will not lose you. You shall make it. You shall make it to the end of this year. You shall see next year. I will not lose you. I will not lose you. Oh, I will not lose you. So for any oh, Miss Supreme, Fadi Abu. So for oh, Miss Supreme, Fadi Abu. Oh, oh, Miss Farabawa. You will not die, but you will live. You will continue to declare the glory of God. Tell that person, tell him very well, you will not die, but you will live. To declare the glory of God because God is with you. No one can stand against you. No one can stand against you. God is with you. Yes, you shall make it. You shall make it. You shall make it. Shall make it. Amen. Oh God, the year is coming to an end. You have been waiting for something. Somebody say, I have been waiting. Father, let my own time come. I have been waiting. Oh, Lua, you may not sing to the Lord. Jack, I have been waiting. Father, I have been waiting. Let my own time come.
God said, I have waited. A minute duro. Remember in the pool of Bethsaida, that man was waiting in the pool of Bethsaida. That man waited, he waited and waited for 38 years. But one day the Lord Jesus visited the pool. And the day that Jesus visited the pool, he received his miracle. But this man has been waiting years. There was no one to help him get him lowered into the lake. But when Jesus came, Jesus just told him, what do you want me to do for you? Amen. So the Lord Jesus is in this house. He's looking at somebody. What do you want me to do for you? That is what the Lord Jesus is saying. All we have to do right now, the Bible says, uh, the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 5, he said, the Lord is good to wait. The Lord is good unto them that wait. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, I have been waiting from January. This is November, Father, visit me, visit me, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, somebody continue to tell the Lord. Caterpillar 
and the palm of one, my great army which I sent among you, yes, yes, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Somebody say amen. amen. You will tell the Lord, uh, Father Lord, I have been waiting for you. I look unto you for restoration. Uh, every good thing that has been taken away from me, Father, restore them back to me. Uh, somebody continue to tell the Lord. Uh, somebody continue to tell the Lord, uh, Father, you have been waiting on you. Hold on. Father, come and restore me. Uh, Father, come and restore my family. Father, come and restore my ministry. Father, come and restore my church. Uh, Father, come and restore. Uh, I pray for restoration. Oh, Lord. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Uh, Yes, 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 yes. Somebody pray. Am I suffering, Lord? Oh, yada, pada. Oh, yada, pada. Oh, there the book of the son. Oh, there the book of the written in Ziba. Oh, yah, Lord, who call you? And your royal Dakota. For your one day you will restore. Father, restore unto me. Father, restore unto me. Oh, the Lord, I pray for restoration. Somebody say, I pray for restoration. name we are praying. People of God, while you are seeking something, some time was lost, some money was lost, some things were lost, but the Lord is saying to you, if you believe, the Lord said, I will restore to you all these years that those canker worms, that those planter worms have devoured you. The Lord said, he shall restore to you. You will go and tell the Lord, Father, because I have been patiently waiting on you, Father, let it be restored back to me. Everything, oh Lord, that is mine, everything lost in my dreams, everything that is mine that I have not taken, oh Lord, Father, restore them to me. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Call the name of Jesus and continue to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh my Father, my God in heaven, oh God of restoration. Father, come and restore me here. For I have been waiting on you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. People of God, as we all know, the rounding up. Some surrounding of you, and my be looking for some sacrificial. They might be looking for sacrificial, some uh, sacrificial materials to hand the year. One my wife will be lots of money to do. Bible says, Book of Proverbs chapter eighteen verse ten. Father, 
King of glory. O oh God of our fathers, you are the great I am. Unto you we have come. Our Father, you instructed us to pray. This is what we have done. The Bible says, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, that this is the confidence that we have. Everything we ask you, they're in accordance with your will, you will answer us. Our Father, we have prayed, and we have not just prayed. For your word said to us, John 14, 13, that we should pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we have prayed in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, Lord, answer our prayers. Oh, Lord. Is there anyone in this house, our family, relatives, far and near, that has been marked for sudden death? 
Father, we cover such with the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover such with the blood of Jesus. Is there any covenant that has been entered or made because of someone that they will not see the end of this year? Father, we go to the covenant in the blood of Jesus. The covenant in the blood of Jesus, which redeem us, O Lord. Father, let us be redeemed, O Lord. Our Father, everyone that has been waiting for you, for your word said you are good to those that are waiting for you. Our Father and our God in heaven, everyone that has been waiting, in the book of John chapter 2, in, Cana, in the marriage of Cana of Galilee, they came to you, you that they have no more, your mother came to you, said to you that you have no more wine. And you said to him that you know what? You know that my time has not come. In spite of that, you still perform the miracle. Everyone that is waiting in this house for one good thing or the other, our Father and our God in heaven, your word said in Isaiah 40, 31, that those that are waiting on the Lord, the Lord will renew their strength. Which means while they are waiting, it's not going to seem as if they are waiting. Father, Lord Jesus, comfort them, O oh Lord. And every goodness that everyone seeks, you are our Father from whom all blessings flow. For the, for the sake of the name of Jesus, let all these blessings be released, O oh Lord. Amen. Thank you, O oh Lord, for that was answered. In Jesus' name we are praying. O oh, seal of heaven, seal and affirm our prayer. Let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable before thy sight in Jesus' name. candles every living soul bow your head down let your head touch the ground every let every living soul bow their head down Please, 
with a big smile meet the Lord. With a big smile, a big smile meet your Lord. Amen. A storm, a destructive storm, the Lord said he has stopped it. Amen. Are we? Are we?
no.
it we cover with the blood of Jesus. Our Father and our God name continue to be with thy vessel. Our Father and our God name continue, O oh Lord, to anoint her, empower her, be with her, be with the church of God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. O oh God of seal and affirmation, Amen. Father Lord, seal and affirm our prayers. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let's start for Jesus. I want the following people to come out. You are supposed to be one of the people to pray the three people. Uh, uh, three people prayer come out. Thanksgiving prayer come out. Lesson people come out. If your name is on the program for today, come out quickly. Kneel down, please. Church, and we stand up. Let's bless them with our prayers that the Lord should upset them as they discharge their business in their heart and in their home that Lord should bless them. Pray up everybody. In Jesus' name. You will come to walk with the Lord all the day of your life. Goodness and mercy shall follow all of you yeah. now and forevermore. Yeah. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please go to your seat. You have discharged your duty. You are supposed to do Thanksgiving prayer. You have done it. Spirit prayer, you have done it. Show of prayer, prayer, you have done it. Amen. Let's sit down for the word of God. You see, we have a lot of things to do. Amen. Thank you for talking back there. I appreciate it. Let's sit down. It's time for the word of God. Amen. We have a lot of things to do. That's why in the movement, if you have been assigned, can I use this or I use something else? In the movement, if you have been assigned for anything on Sunday, you don't wait until when you come to church to lead this. If you have been given the lesson to read, you're supposed to practice it at home to read it. If you are supposed to pray for protection, you need to have been reading it and praying it at home before you get here on Sunday. Because sometimes, like today, the Lord can take over that you might not be able to come in here to come and do it. So which means you have been praying for the church for protection and all that before you come here. So we don't miss anything. Amen? The same thing for the leader of service. The leader of service is not just to come here. He's supposed to have been praying since Monday for the Lord to fortify him. And when he comes here, all you have to do is just be with his hands given. Let us stand up for the word of God. Father, we thank you. Let your word go out to touch every heart that is here. Father, I'm just an ordinary vessel. Father, come and fill me up. Don't let me preach myself. But Father, speak to me. For I pray in Jesus' name. Let's give our Lord Jesus Christ a round of applause. Please be seated. If you are aware, by now everybody should be aware what the subject of today is. That is living a purposeful life. Not only Purposeful life, okay, you do that after sermon. That's my boy. Amen. Living a purposeful life, but in living a purposeful, godly life. In the Yoruba section of the lecture on which we have, you don't have. Oh, sorry, pray. Gigbe, 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 Living a purposeful life according to the will of God. But before I go on, I want to give you an illustration about what does it mean to uh, give me 25 minutes key. Then I'm, 
I will tell people as possible, I don't want to waste too much time. But I just want to just talk for a minute. There is what we call engine oil. So those of you who have a car, you know what is engine oil. There is also a coolant. They are both liquid. Do you agree with me? They are both liquid. Now, if someone who does not know go and by mistake, or he thinks or she thinks she knows, and she puts the coolant into the engine oil gauge, what will happen, folks? Because the manufacturer that manufactured the engine oil purposely, hey, sit down, please, sit down, sit down, sit down, everyone, sit down. Kule, what's going on? Sit down, I'm not Kule, sit down. We said when we are preaching, everybody sit down. You are too young to be going to the toilet by now. Sit down. The manufacturer manufactures a product for a particular thing. You cannot put coolant into where you are supposed to put the engine oil. So also, what I'm saying to everybody is here is that God has a purpose for everybody. In the first lesson, which we should have read, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, the Bible said, Joel, oh, you see, I, 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 I said Jeremiah, and I said Joel, you didn't do nothing, you were just looking at me. Amen. The Lord told Jeremiah, Jeremiah, before you are formed in your mother's womb, I know you, and I have sanctified you. Are you following the story now? So, which means God already gave Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? Yeah, I wonder. Okay, because I think you are saying something else in there. He told Jeremiah. The same thing, John the Baptist, before he came to this world, he knew the purpose of his life. That he was going to be a what, church? A runner for our Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Acts chapter 9, when the Lord met Saul Paul, the Lord changed his life. Purposely, he was doing something else that God did not send him to this world to do. He was killing all Christians. But when the Lord met him, the Lord said, okay, I know what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to send you to the Gentiles. A lot of us are only doing what we want to do without not living a purposely godly life. And that's why Monday morning when we wake up and we are going to work, we are not happy that we are going to work because God is not in the agenda of what we are doing. What is the meaning of purpose? What is the meaning of purpose? Purpose means the intent. The intent that you are here. Do you know why you are here? Now forget you are in the world. John 79, Jesus said, I did not say to take them out of this world, but keep them from the enemy. Yes, you are going to make money, you are going to do, you are going to do that. But initially, why did God make human beings to be on this planet? How? Why? Because if we don't know, if, if God is the one that made us, he manufactures us, he manufactures a product. Whether you know it or not, you are a product. What did I say? And if you don't do what the Lord of our son used to do, just like that person who is putting coolers into the engine oil, we mess up the engine. You are going to mess up your system. Everybody stand up. Lord, in any way that I have not let your spirit lead me and guide me to live a purpose life, Father, forgive me. Turn into prayer, turn into prayer, turn into prayer. The Lord shall help us in Jesus' name. Let's be seated. Let's be seated. The Bible said in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. I, I want to go quickly to some structure so that you can see what I'm talking about. The Bible said in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. And everything that God made has a purpose. He spoke to the permanent. He said, Let there be light. And what, what happened, folks? And he said, This light. It's going to be for the day and night. Amen? 
For instance, now stars. You don't, you don't see stars like today, in the middle of the day, do you? Sun, you don't do the sun, not S-O-N. I'm from Africa. Sister Tammy, don't laugh at me. S-U-N does not come in the middle of the night. Everything the Lord manufactures and says, they have their time when they do it. Another thing is this. God speaks to whatever he wants to come. God is the source. Amen? When he wanted fish, he spoke to what, church? He spoke to the water. And fish does what? Fish came out. If fish is not in the water, church, what will happen to the fish? You have to follow me to see what I, I will not be able to uh, conclude it. You'll be able to see what I'm trying to say. So which means, if fish does not stay in the water, and it, it's going to die, right? So if we are not in the purpose of God, then we are going to do what? We are going to miss it. Now, something happened. When God wanted to make man, he did not call on the angels. He did not call on anything, but he called on himself. In the book of Genesis 1, 26, the Lord says, let us make man in church, in our own image. He spoke to himself. Don't be, de- don't be fooled. He did not call on the angels. When the Lord spoke, he said, let us make man in our own image. And he stooped down to make sure that man, and he breathed into man. I think I've preached about something like that before, so I'm not going to waste my time on that. Now, something happened. Why did God make us in the first place? Already, he has made the planet hard. Oh, I hope you have been reading your Bible. He has already formed the heart. Do you agree? Now, if the Lord has formed the heart, there must be a reason why he formed the heart before man. And it's because God wants to fill the heart. Psalm 82 verse 6, just like this, I'm going to read it, Psalm 82 verse 6. It is the intention of God to fill the heart. Amen? Especially after Satan has come down and to think that he is going to rule the world, the heart. So God is now saying now that I'm going to bring my kingdom by the way, uh, we have not been preaching about what Jesus preaches. We've been, preaching ab- we've been preaching about what Jesus taught. Jesus on the planet always preached about the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of the Lord is near. That's what he's been preaching. In the book of Matthew chapter 6, in the Lord's Prayer, the Bible said, let what? Uh, church, follow me. Jesus even said, let the kingdom come. Which means God is trying to bring a kingdom from heaven into where? Into her. People of God, we have been saying that you want to go to heaven. You cannot go to heaven. Heaven is what? Is for God. In, in, uh, in Revelation 20, 21, the Bible said, I see a new heaven. Oh. Uh. Okay, let, let me just make my point and get out of here. So, when the Lord made us in his image, he said one thing, go and have dominion after he make Adam. And he said, go and what? Have dominion. But before then, he made a man to be his image, his likeness. What does that really mean? It, it is functional. Functional in the sense that God has made us in his image, so we too have the same function to be able to do like what? And even in some text in the Bible, he called us God. First John 4, 4. He said, you little children. Does someone help me? He said, you are, I have made you to be a God. He told Moses, I, you are a God unto who? Un, unto Father. So which means, whatever who we are, we have the same thing in us like God. In Ephesians 3, chapter 20, uh, no, Ephesians 3, verse 20, the Bible said, say what? He said, he can do abundantly what we think or we ask according to the power we are in us. So, which means, no wonder Jesus said, 
you can do more than. Can you imagine that? How many of us believe that? You can know, you know, do more than like that. That if you speak to this mountain, this mountain will do what? It will move. So God said, okay, you know what? I have you now here to perform just like I perform. That's why creativity is from God. Because we are human beings, we too we can create. There are things that God will no more do again. Purpose to life. Purpose. If that is the case, then I hear. Again, I said how to live a purposeful life. In the book of Proverbs 19 to 16, this. Sorry, uh, you know, but now I know you don't. Give me Proverbs 29. The one I want to read, I'll let you read. Proverbs 19, 21. Everybody, let us read. In Proverbs 19, uh, 19, 21, it says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. God is not interested in the, your purpose. God has already made up his mind what is going to be in this heart. He has already declared that you are going to have dominion. He has already declared that everything is there for you. In Ephesians 2, 8, 8, 8, 10, 8, 8, 11, he said, you have been here for a good workmanship. The thing that he did is this, is that you are going to be like me. Hey, he made you purposely so you can be like him. He made you like him. He did not even make angels like him. He made you like him. So which means, if you don't produce like him, then you are living a non-purposeful life. What did I say, church? When an artist makes an image, he makes the image to be like what? Like the original. One year, man, Aaron, your man, John. If we are image of God and God is righteousness, you cannot say that God is righteous. He is righteousness. In 1 John 3, the Bible says God is love as we have love. So which means all these attributes of God, all these characters of God, how to show do what? Run it. But it's your determination. In the, book of, in the book of Daniel, Daniel said, Daniel, there was a Daniel purported in his heart. You are the one that make up your, that you have to make up your mind that image of God, I want to be like God. Amen? So all the characteristics of God that you need to attribute to yourself, that you need to show, is a will that you want to be like God. So that everything that you are doing, God will be leading you and directing you because you are God. Because you have the power in him. He called you God. He said, I make you my, my own image. They won't have dominion. Everything, that's why I'm talking. Another thing I want to say. The source of everything what we do is from God. The source that God is using. Look at everything that God, God is doing. It's so funny. I'm laughing right now because when I was doing, I've done a little bit of research about this topic. About the source. Abba. Abba means mean the source, where something come from. If you look at everything that God made, at the end of the day, when they die, they go to what? They become dust. They go back to the heart. That is it. And when man made, when God made man, man too shall return to dust, but however, his soul will go to heaven. I mean, we go to heart. To heaven. So purpose in life. So why? So but here again, what are you supposed to be doing? Are you only here just go to, when you go to school, you walk to job, you buy a car, you buy another car, you do all this there and that. Is that why, that why God made you? He has already given you the power, the authority to be like him, to do everything that he does. You have to realize that you are not just a ordinary being. God is calling you that he wants to bring heaven to where? To her. And you want men and women who will not take over so that this added heart can be a godly heart. Charity. One of the things that you want is that 
Once you are here, that you'll be able to defeat the devil with the good work that the Father is doing in you. Here's the situation. While you are here, Hebrews 10 25 says, to not forsake the assembly of one another, just like some people did. That is why you are here. Some people understand what is the purpose of the church. The Lord left the church so that you can hear the word of God. Romans 10 70 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing what? Hearing the word. Because when you hear the word of God, it will propel you to be able to do what God wants you to do. Stop it. No, God, nobody's not saying that we should not go to work, we should not do this, not do that. But you should have to make God to be your number one priority in your life. In Bible study today, I heard them saying something like, it does not mean that because you know you confess Jesus Christ that you will not have no trials and tribulations. That's what Lord James chapter 1 says, count it on God. But there's something that when you accept it, it will give to you like Satan and so many other people like that. So people of God, what they want us to know today is that we need to change our mindset in setting our goal. Another thing is this, that as believers that we have to do, I said earlier, we always quote Jeremiah 29, 9, 11. God says, I know the plan that I have for you. So which means, if you are not in tune with God, then your plan is what? None and void. So I know the plan for you. It's not behind you. Plan of God. But what happened is this. We have a home plan. We, we would have finished everything we want to do according to our plan before we go to God. Seek first, first, the face of God before you embark on whatever you want to do. That's why sometimes now this I'm very, I don't like it when people come to us, Alagba, I want to marry this person. Can, you know, I have three names. Can you help me look? We don't do that in this place. Because most of the time, people have made up their mind whom they want to marry. So it does not make a difference whatever the Lord says. So keep God out of it. Before you buy your house, before you buy your home, before you buy anything, consult God first. God, what is your purpose over my life? And a couple of years ago, about 25 years ago, when we first started, some people came to the church and the Lord told them that, you know what, you are doing good for, to be a teacher. And the Lord says, you know, your way is not to be a teacher. But because he already, uh, it was already there, so he was doing it. And after, after teaching, after he found out that, that the teaching is not for him. How many people do you know, they've gone to college to be a doctor, because their father wanted them to go, the doctor did not consult the doctor. I mean, they, uh, they don't consult the doctor. At the day, when they were supposed to, uh, uh, four or five years, they found out that they cannot be a doctor. Waste of time. Waste of time. And that's why I said that in this ministration, I said, let us ask the Lord to forgive us. Because we too have been in that. We have done so many things. We don't think it's We just say it's a problem. That's just what I want to be. And I hope that everybody will now change. Now, you are in a spiritual church. In which God will even lead you. It's Alex, but they always quote that. He will guide you, he will lead you, and his eyes will be for you so that you don't take a misstep. That's why you are here. The purpose of God in your life is very, very important. If you do the will of God in your life, that is where you can expect for God to catapult you another mission. The world is different now. The world will change you so many things. They will tell you that, okay, if you buy this, you make this money, you make this money, at the end of the day, you lose money. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have been a victim of, uh, when I was in Barbara, somebody came to me that, oh, and the man is a pastor too. He said, oh, this is, this, you know, I will buy it. But because he's also a pastor, he's a nice guy, I lost some money because of that. Because I did not even ask God. Enough of you just living your life purposely because of what you have, 
because of what you do or because of what they tell you. Ask God, what does God want you to do in your life? The natural means that you have to know that God, things that you see now, they are temporary. It's the thing that you don't see that God is hanging on. I'm talking to somebody today that your purpose does not matter to God. The purpose of God is what really matters that you should follow. So you have to reassess yourself now. That's my advice to you now before I round up. You have to sit down after this when you get home. So assess, reassess your lifestyle. And to let your children, or, or especially the teenagers, know now that before they embark on anything in their life, they need to ask God, what is your purpose in our life? I'm supposed to be in Nigeria by now. But right away when I was trying to make my decision whether I should go or not, I was, I kept on praying, God, should I go, should I not go, should I not go? I did not get that assurance. Don't speak to me, he said, say, say, please, I give us not as the word givers. I did not get that peace that I should go. So I just, uh, okay, Lord, I you want to go, you go. Because one of my prayers that I always do is this, Father, don't let me go on, on any journey of no return. And I pray with somebody under my voice today, you will not go on any trip of no return. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't just put your, you know. Sometimes, you know, we, we had the story of one of our fathers who was a man of God. And we had the story, I wasn't there, the story that a small girl told him that don't go on that journey. The will of God is don't go on that journey. But we understand that at that I said, well, I'm a fear me for so that we can go. And uh, the man just, you know, the end of the story. The plans of God is to bless you, not to harm you. Seek the face of God. Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33. Before you embark on anything, come and see. Uh, is anybody there? Let us read. Jeremiah 33. Read. Call unto me and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God is even inviting you that you call upon him and say, tell me, what do you want to do? What do you want to embark on? What do you want to do for you? Don't just say that, uh, that there's a joke among Nigerians, we in Nigerians say that, I want Nigerians, people think Nigerians, people are going to be telling that thing. And instead of you asking the Lord, what should you do? Instead of doing what everybody is doing. And that's why people are failing. Whatever they want to do. God's plan is different from yours. Can you imagine? The Lord told Saul Paul from henceforth that he was fighting for people. But now he has been fighting with the people Saul. People of God, think of how whatever that you are doing with it for you to really go to God and say, Lord, am I in the right path? Am I in the right path? Am I doing what, you are supposed, what I'm supposed to do? If you are of God, then you behave like God. <laughs> It is very, very important. Okay, I heard you. It is very, very important, people of God. Let us stand up. Our purpose in life is not to make money. Even people who are not Christians, they make money. That's why I keep on telling people that the fact that as people have money does not mean that God is blessing them. It does not mean. The fact that somebody is doing well in the industry does not mean that God is blessing them. That's not what it means. There's something else that we need to know in our heart. Spiritually, we're talking about spiritually here. About what we need to do. What is it that you want to embark on in your life? Seek the face of God. Your purpose here is to satisfy God first. The heart of Jesus Christ. What should we do? Love God with all your mind, body, and soul. 
and love your neighbors according to yourself. Esther had a good purpose. It's also going to him that you are here for a purpose. Do you remember the story of Esther? The Lord of Esther. It's also to him, to her. Esther. You two, wherever you are right now, in this expression, you are here for a purpose. For a purpose that the Lord must be. Some of you are gifted with one kind, gifted with one kind. The Lord is giving you, he's going to ask you, what are you doing with it? We all know the story of the talent. Don't let us be wasting our time coming to church and not fulfilling the mission that God us to. No! Ephesians 4 12 says, Whatever gift has given to you is for the edification of the church. You can't go to Dominic and prophesy for them. I'm shaking there. No! We used to have a record when we were on class two. He says, If you don't pray here, where are you going to pray? The purpose is holding you back. What is it that is holding you back? That does not let you fulfill what the Lord has asked you to do. Please go into prayer. Close your eyes, everybody. And uh, tell the Lord to redirect you. Redirect you. To redirect you. Whatever uh, you have done before. We all know our mistakes. We know our past. We know the things that we have done that is ungodly. God is love. We don't love. We, we backbite. God does not do all that. And we are, we are making the image of God. He asked us to point us to do things, but we are not doing it. I'm not going to call anybody outside, but wherever you are, that purpose is hard, that it's not going to eat at me from the thing. You, you see yourself just in your heart, just determine that from today, Jesus told all his disciples after some people have left them, he said, what about you guys? Aren't you going to go? He said, where are we going to go? If you don't have any another place you want to go, then tell unto him now. Please close your eyes. Everybody just close your eyes. You have two minutes. So tell the Lord to redirect you so that you can live a purposely godly life. Determine in your heart that you are not going to be doing what the world is doing, what your friend is doing, what anybody is telling you to do. But you want the Spirit of the Lord to be leading you to redirect you because you are made in the image of God. Purpose. Your purpose in life is to live the life that God has sent you here to do. So for even our Lord Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 7, just close your eyes and listen to me. In John chapter 7, Jesus said, I have glorified you, which means he has completed his work. He knew the purpose why he was here. So Paul is another man that he really liked, that he led a purpose to life. He said, I have Christ. He knew why he was here after the Lord met him. I mean, I fought a good fight. I brought my cup. Can anyone of us say that? Yes, we have all made mistakes. We've done what we're supposed to do, but we need to reduce, to be to uh, redirect so that we can do what the Lord has us to do. I get a case in your power. You go see, you know, you get get this, you know, you Father, in Jesus' name, the eternal rock of ages, everlasting your glory, we thank you for the privilege and the grace to hear your word. Lord Almighty, we pray for that grace to live a purposeful life. Father, Lord, give it unto us in Jesus' name. Whatever way, whichever way that we might go astray, Lord Almighty, redirect us part of a purposeful life in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Olu Olon Ashe, or Batin Fiashe Soro, Ashela to read every day at Dura Waladi, a Jalay, a Jalay Mani, no Colati Jesu Christi, near Gradura.
for the announcement, we want to recognize some important set of people, if there is any. If today is your first uh, day in this sanctuary, today is your first time fellowshipping with us, can you wave to the Lord? Today is your first time fellowshipping with us, can you wave to the Lord? Praise God. The Lord we had to his church in Jesus' name. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you. The glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Amen. Happy Sunday to the Church of God, and we thank God for another opportunity to witness another Father's Day. Please, Warden, pass around the plate for a mercy collection and give directly to Special Mother Bissiriu for safe keeping. Our church events are as follows. Today is our church founder's day anniversary for the year. We have CNS House of Convenance in um, Grand Perry, Texas anniversary coming up next week, November 19th. CNS Movement Church, the Good Shepherd, Houston's anniversary is coming up November 26th. And we have CNS Ocean of God's Mercy, it's anniversary coming up, uh, that's in Minnesota, December 3rd. And the CNS Glory Land in Houston's anniversary is coming up December 10th. The Altar of Praise 3.0 is set for December 15th at 7 p.m. Please be in attendance. Uh, The family night will be determined. We have no date set for that. And Christmas Day, December 25th, and the New Year's Eve is December 31st. Other announcement, the TNS Church of Christ um, in Atlanta, under the leadership of Special Apostle Pastor Dr. Badru, has their Daniel's Band anniversary and the dates will be from December 4th to December 3rd. So if you plan, if you are planning on attending, please, um, the date for their Daniel's band anniversary will be from December 4th through the 3rd. Also, if you are paying your tithes or any, making any other payment through the church Zell's account, please on the memo indicate what the payment is for and also your name. And if by chance you forget to do this, please see our mother, Deniji, so she can have proper documentation of uh, what the payment is for. If we have any other announcements, we shall hear from the altar. Thank you and God bless you all. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! This is new. I've not seen this one yet. The Lord is good. People of God, the Lord created us for his praise. Amen. The Lord created us for his praise. Please, this is a call to all of us to come and praise the Lord on his altar. Amen. Please make it a date. December 15 at 7 p.m. Come in your mufti. Amen. And walk better. I got that to that. The Lord is good. The only thing you cannot do is don't wear shoes in here. But you can wear your agbada. You can wear everything you want and come to the presence of the Lord and come and praise Him. And if the Lord has put an idea in you, if the Lord has put an idea in you about this, please let us rub minds. Somebody, the Lord put that idea in him, the poster you saw just now, I've not seen that yet. This is the first time I'm seeing that, so the Lord put the idea in someone and someone did that. It shall be well with all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are all in this together 
And you know what the Bible says, Psalm 22, verse 3, when we praise the Lord, the Lord inhabit the praise of his people. So the Lord will tend that day, and you know what, expressly, we can tend our supplications, and the Lord will answer them. If you have any idea, please let's rub minds. God bless all of us, in Jesus' name. And it has been announced that December 5, December 3, is uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota's uh, anniversary. That is one of our parishes. Uh, by God's grace, we will be driving. Amen. By God's grace, we will be driving to Minneapolis. <laughs> if you want to go, please uh, let us know on time so we can write your name down and we can ride together to Minneapolis to go and praise God. It is part of evangelism because when I, when I, some, one day I look at our, why do we go to all these places? He said, you know what? It's evangelism. And I see some evangelism. Anywhere we gathered in white, people look at us. Who are these people there? And by that, people join us. So I agree, sir. God bless you, sir. So it's